Welcome to Shoreview Traders, your morning market hit for Monday, 31st January. What matters today and this week for traders? Well, what a turbulent week that was with very wide intraday trading ranges experienced in the S&P 500 over the course of last week. Indeed, Monday's trading range was as large as any we've seen since the pandemic sell-off in March 2020. As you can see on the chart in front of you now, an over 200 point intraday trading range, albeit the S&P closed actually up on Monday last week. Every other day of last week was over a 2% intraday range. Lots going on, lots of volatility, lots of turbulence in these indices. Yet despite that turbulence and despite those fears of a crash in the stock market 10 days ago that we talked about in our video Monday last week, despite all that, the market held its own. Monday was hairy. Yes, it sold off hard intraday, but it closed up on the day as I mentioned. And throughout the course of last week, we saw lots of high intraday ranges, but holding of key support levels at the sort of 4260 level. So over the course of Tuesday to Friday, the market was really quite range bound, albeit it was volatile, large ranges intraday, but holding at that key level, as you can see in the chart we've been showing you in the last few seconds. So the key question now is with markets at the top end of that range of the last few days, the key question is, are we about to break out to the upside or are we once again going to fail? Most encouraging though, the bulls are scared. And you can see that in a variety of indices. Look at the fund flows chart we're putting up in front of you now. This is for the ETF index trading on the S&P 500. You can see there are fund flows pretty much throughout most days over the last two or three weeks. That continued over the course of the last week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all experienced significant outflows from that ETF, long ETF S&P 500 index. Or on top of that, look at our risk appetite scoring system still on buy despite the fact we're at the top end of that range, showing you that market participants are still pretty fearful and suggesting there's still some upside from here over the next week or two or beyond. And finally, look at sentiment. In front of you now is the AAII retail sentiment, the bearish index, we've inverted that. So it's at very low levels on the chart, which means bearishness is very high. Indeed, it's higher than it was at the depths of the pandemic sell-off in March 2020. That's a lot of bearishness amongst retail investors. And importantly, as we mentioned last week, you've got to be greedy when others are fearful and fearful when they're greedy. Well, at the moment, they're fearful. And that means you should be greedy, long these markets in a trading sense, looking for upside, looking for breakouts to the upside. And to see how we're playing all this and our full range of models, our interpretation of this market, our recommendation as to how to play one to two week long and short positions on equity index futures, please see today's daily rag available to subscribers via the website. Or if you're interested in a free trial, please click on the link below. We'll send you the daily rag for free for seven trading sessions. No credit card details required. All we ask for is your name and email address. So what are we watching today and this week? Well, it's a big week for data. It's the first week of the month. It's February the 1st tomorrow on Tuesday. And therefore, it's the big data week for US macro with non-farm payrolls at the end of the week. ISM services and manufacturing before that over the course of this week and ADP employment as well. So big US data week. In terms of other data as well out of Europe, we've got some inflation data, first estimates for the Eurozone in Germany over the course of this week. And then also it's a big week for central banks with the ECB and the Bank of England having monetary policy meetings and press conferences this week. Over and above that, we've also got OPEC meeting this week with the oil price pretty toppy. It'll be interesting to see whether they change their views on how much supply to release into the market. And importantly, of course, US fourth quarter earnings continue over the course of this week with more big tech companies reporting, including Google, Facebook, and Amazon over the course of this week. So that's it from us. That's your morning market here for Monday, 31st of January. Thank you for listening. Please do subscribe to these free videos on YouTube. Simply search under Short View Trading, click on the subscribe button, or follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and or Facebook. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. Trade well.